It's good to see you again, Skull friend. By saving Baldor, you helped to preserve our sacred traditions. able to save Baldur. I admit I wasn't ready to become Smith of the Skull. Well, the dragons are a constant danger, but so far they have taken little interest in our village. Thank the Allmaker for that. But have they forced us to change the way we live our lives? No, not at all. They are but one more hardship added to the many we already endure. trade ship from Skyrim struck ice off the coast near the village, and the Skull took in the surviving sailors. My mother fell in love with one of the sailors, my father, and eventually returned with him to Skyrim. Sadly, no. She died in Fall Creek, where I was born. I came across a few of my mother's old things not long ago. Among them was a necklace that my father gave to her when they were married. I believe she would want it placed upon her tombstone in Falkley, as a symbol of her undying love and the great sacrifice she made for it. If you find yourself in Falkley, please give this amulet to the priest Brunel and tell him that I sent you. He will understand. I don't have much to give in reward, but return to me when the task is done and I'll do what I can. Thank you, Skull friend. say that I was born an angry child. It's true that my heart has always been restless, and fighting was the only way I could find peace. I was a soldier for a time, and then a mercenary, but I was truly happy until I came here. Mm-hmm.
Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Oh, merciful Arcane, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kust is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Morwen, you say? Now that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. Left to join her mother's people on salt time, as I recall. I knew her parents quite well, you know. Vera and Ulfa were good people, very much in love. Now, what can I do for young Morwen? Ah, yes, Vera's silver necklace. It was a wedding gift, and she rarely took it off. I'll be glad to oblige. What a touching gesture, to display the symbol of her devotion in such a way. Tell Morwen I'll be happy to grant her request. I'm sure it will bring joy to her mother and father as they walk in Asterius. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's man. My mother was skull, but she left the village, and I was born in Skyrim. I'm Nearly relieved that you were able to save Baldur. I admit, I wasn't ready to become smith of the skull. You've brought warmth to my heart, outsider, and I'm in your debt. Please, accept this as a token of gratitude. Once again, you've proven yourself an ally to the skull. Are the potatoes ready for eating? Most of us are 